Hey guys, welcome back to the JPM Performance Channel. It is once again time for a shop tour. We are right here in our, believe it or not, the last Thursday of May somehow. So next Thursday, it's gonna be the 1st of June. I don't know why or how time flies so quickly. I guess the older you get, the faster it goes, seems like. That's what I've heard, and now I'm starting to understand it. So let's get right into the shop tour. We've got all sorts of interesting things to look at today. We're going to start with a pile of bits and pieces sitting on the bench here that are off of the Camaro. Uh, you can see there's a lower control arm and a complete upright. That is because we had a suspension failure at Heartland Park last weekend. Uh, and main, basically, this is a design flaw. So, as we've learned about these cars, these guys that know about them keep telling me, Oh yeah, yeah, that's a problem. And I'm like... Why didn't anybody ever do anything about it? So when they made these uprights, there was a sleeve that was welded onto the bottom of this stud, this knuckle. And this sleeve slides, and you can see it right here, it slides into this lower spherical bearing. Well, this is a three-quarter bearing, and they have these really nice 9 16 bolts. You can see this one is completely sheared off. What happens is, because this is pretty light duty for, obviously, the size of tires and brakes and everything for this car, the sleeve breaks off of here, and then all you have is this bolt holding it, and eventually the bolt snaps. So, fortunately, I was able to extract this out of the upright and get that out. Um, we're going to be redesigning this suspension this weekend, or this winter, but... Uh, Steve actually was going really good, was a couple seconds under the GT2 cars, a couple of fast GT2 cars, and doing really good. And then when this failed, it's a complete disaster. So that was the end of the weekend. Fortunately, it was in Sunday's race um, right at the end. So we basically made it through the weekend, but design flaw and failure, go figure. Um, in my mind, these guys are trying to design these cars. You have to realize... Minimum weight for this car is like 2980. So when you've got such a big car, you need to try and design some lightness into the car. Um, but in my mind, there's a couple of places that need things to be a little heavier duty than that. So anyway, right in the middle of disassembling just a core uh, Mazda MZR 2 liter motor. So this is one of two cores. I actually have three STL 2-liter MZR motors going right now. Um, one for uh, Craig McAfee, 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 something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, from the Northeast, doing a uh, redesign and upgrade uh, on his motor. Um, a company out in California had been building uh, he and his dad's motors, and... Uh, for whatever reason, they're now coming to me for uh, for a different look and maybe some upgrades. And after taking that engine apart, they're definitely in store for some upgrades. So this is a core engine for another project. Um, not so sure that the customer wants me to talk about the project that we're working on, and so I'm not going to make the mistake of telling you who this is for, but I actually have two engines for a new customer um, for STL. So. This is something that we're going to be working on through the summer, and they need to get it mocked up into the car for next season. But uh, while I'm doing uh, McAfee's engine, I thought I'd kind of redesign and, and start on these as well. So, core engine from a junkyard. I love how they put all these numbers all over these things. I don't know. I guess it's their part number, so they don't know uh, what car it came out of So in their computer system. But anyway, that's what that is. So, moving on this direction... Got a new pile of stuff here that is probably going to sit here for a little bit. Got a little bit of stuff to do for Weber Manning. I've got an engine to work on for Don Tucker. I still have Perry stuff sitting here. But we're right now in the middle of June sprints prep. So I'm not really going to get a chance to get into their stuff probably until maybe the end of June. Hopefully before the sprints, but maybe not till July. We're getting into the time of year, guys, where um, by the time July hits here, there's going to be no more runoffs engine build. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about an, a runoffs engine from me, you better think about it in the next six weeks or so because we're going to be getting real close. 
In the meantime, we've got Mike Sturm's car back in the shop. It's kind of been a while since I've seen the car. Um, the last engine rebuild that he had done, he actually had somebody else do it. Uh, it was all my bits and pieces, but he had somebody else do him a, an Econo build, is kind of what I'm calling it. And I think the Econo build has bit him a little bit because I need to yank the engine out and what we've got going on, I believe, is a stuck um, oil pressure relief valve in the oil pump. Now, generally that's not an issue on a Miata unless you have debris running through it. So the engine's going to come out, put it on the engine stand, flip it over, uh, get the pan off, pull the oil pump, check the bearings because sometimes that's kind of your first sign um, when you have varying oil pressure. Sometimes it'll be 30, sometimes it'll be 110. That, that relief valve slides in and out of uh, a very finely machined orifice to keep your oil pressure very precise. He does not have precise oil pressure, so this needs to get done before the June sprints, and then we're going to be delivering the car back to him. Joe's actually going to drag that up for him. So. The car just came in yesterday, obviously haven't touched it yet because I am in full tilt uh, June sprints prep mode on the Camaro. You can see I've got all the body off. We're going to be replacing all of the hardware in the front suspension. Uh, you can see over on this side that I already have this corner completely apart, um, obviously because you saw the bits and pieces sitting over there. But uh, we've got a lot of AN bolts you can see down here, and I'm going to be going through and replacing all of this stuff on a car that on a car that makes this much power and has this much deceleration G-force. Um, you only need to be very attentive to to keeping on top of all this, and we really don't know the history on all this hardware. This winter, this car is actually going to be getting a complete strip down to the bare chassis with all sorts of new upgrades. I'm not going to be doing all of that, but the car's going to be going up to a guy who's well versed in doing that sort of those sort of projects, but the prep on a car like this is always a bunch of work. So I've already got the transmission out, um, changed the drop gears, it's reinstalled. I've changed the drop gears on the spare transmission, but you can see when the bolt fell out of the lower part of the suspension, it dropped down and literally machined this wheel in half. I actually found the bolt um, inside of the wheel here and it just machined this wheel in half. So not something you see a lot of, but that wheel is smoked. I think we're gonna be able to salvage a center and maybe the outer rim, but uh, yeah, kind of a, a little bit of massive destruction going on there. So uh, when you take this car apart, it takes up a lot of room. So as far as a Heartland Park runoffs, uh, Heartland Park runoffs, a uh, Heartland Park race weekend report, Greg Ira flew in from Florida to do his last weekend in the BMW, and she is sitting here completely unscathed because he was out front all, all weekend. The car ran flawlessly, and he actually uh, lowered the lap record for the configuration that we ran. It's a, it's a configuration, unfortunately, that I never got to run in this particular car, uh, but I did run it in the RX-7, um, and probably years and years and years ago, the Miata. But uh, Matt Reynolds actually had the lap record, and Greg lowered that. So that was good to see. He's getting real comfortable in the car, made a few more adjustments to the car, came through the weekend completely unscathed, so uh, right now we are on runoffs prep. So if you guys have been watching these uh, videos for any length of time, you know that I'm really big on runoffs prep and I love having the summer to do it. So the car is basically gonna sit here for a little bit while I get the Camaro out of my way here and, uh, and then we'll get it jacked up and start checking everything. So some guys haven't even started their seasons yet and our season is over, is our regular season. Um, so really excited about our chance this year at the runoffs again. The BMW is, uh, has come along very, very well in Greg's hands, and I'm super excited about that. Also, Cliff Ira um, won both days in his F production Del Sol and lowered their lap record as well, which was a really good lap time. It was Sam Henry's 
old lap record and, and Sam and Eric Prill had been really close. We haven't run this configuration since like 2017. So while development has happened in the Miatas since then, obviously, um, I would have expected the Miatas to be going faster as well, but Cliff did a really good job and had a great weekend and uh, the car ran flawlessly. So he is also in runoffs prep mode and um, we're looking really good. So I think about the only thing else I've got going on is I'm still waiting for DJ to come by and pick up his project here, his engine. And I got a, a Matt Reynolds motor here that we're going to be freshening up. So basically whoever buys his car is going to have a brand new engine. Um, this is the motor that we had been running for a couple of years. So it was time for a refresh anyway. So I need to get it out here this summer and get it rocking and rolling as well. But that's kind of where we're at these, this week, guys. Um, lots to do as always. Appreciate your guys' comments. Um, we are going to, let's see, where are we? I suppose we're about four weeks away from the sprints. So we've got some time. We're going to, I'm going to get the Camaro rocking and rolling. And then of course, uh, in a couple weeks, I've got my new project coming in, which I'm excited to show you guys when it gets here. So we'll be talking about that over the next few weeks. Appreciate you watching guys. Have a great rest of your week and a great Memorial weekend. See you next week. Take care.